Welcome one and all to the magnificent Virginia Oval. We're here today for the it's Adelaide Plains grand final day here. Magnificent day we've got here, not a cloud in the sky, only a breath of breeze. My name is Vince Cosme. I'm joined here by the voice of AFL Asia, Matt Gale. How are you, Matthew? Good to be with you this afternoon, Vince. Magnificent um, ground, uh, fantastic conditions and tremendous to be here on behalf of Filming Footy and Sports Interactive. Yes, uh, looking forward to a uh, fantastic couple of games. We'll be calling, of course, the reserves and uh, the A-grade game this afternoon. We're just looking at a little bit of vision here in the... Uh, senior Colts at the moment. The uh, little bit has turned out to be a bit one-sided. Angle Vale 120, two wells 55. It was uh, only about three goals of difference, but uh, Angle Vale have um, polled on nine of the last ten goals to kick away in the second half. But moving on to the reserves game here. So it's a match today between the Battle of the Birds. We've got two Battles of the Birds today. The first one is the Woodpeckers and the Owls, Balaclava and Angle Vale. So let's have a quick look at these two teams. Balaclava finished the minor round in second position with a 12-4 record. They lost two of their first three, but then uh, hit a six-game winning streak to solidify their season and beat Malala, who were the minor premiers, in the second semi to advance straight to the grand finals so and that was their second win in three weeks over the minor premiers after losses and they do have balaclava a three zip season advantage over their opponents today who are the angle vale owls uh, they finished in fourth spot with a 10-6 uh, uh sorry i finished fourth with nine wins and a draw from their 16 matches um First part of the season theirs was a bit up and down, winning five of the first nine. And they also lost both of their last two minor round games by three points, but that was split with a five-game winning streak to put them into contention. Um, and they beat two wells by nine points and then Malala by six goals last week in the preliminary final. So even match-up we're expecting today. They'll be obviously looking for their first win over Balaclava this season. Some of the more consistent players, uh, a couple of players that we've talked about, Ben Abella uh, has been named in the best players nine times this year. Justin Michael, seven. Jaden Brownlee, seven. And Ben Heaslip, seven for Balaclava. For Angle Vale, Jamie Lambert, 12 times in the best players. Andrew Marshall, eight. Nick Kelly as well, eight. Lachlan Brown, Adam Cummings, Jordan Campbell, all seven times, look, uh, been the most consistent players for their teams this year. Um, some of the leading goal kickers that we can look forward to watching today. Well, actually, with Balaclava, uh, only the two of their top five uh, goal kickers are actually playing today. They'll be missing Stuart Lamont, Flynn Snodgrass and Jacob Butterfield, which are uh, three of their top four goal scorers. Joe O'Brien with 23 and Christopher Marshall with 10 uh, are playing. For Angle Vale, big Jordan Campbell, 49 goals looms as a large goal-kicking threat, but it does sort of fall away. They are quite reliant on Jordan Campbell. You've got Jacob McKay on 17, uh, and then Matthew Stewart on 14, Waylon Casey 11, Andrew Marshall with 10. So some of the names to look out for today. Uh, absolutely beautiful conditions. You were out on the Oval a little bit earlier. How did you find it out there? Is it yeah, uh, hard? Conditions. Uh, it's really interesting on the centre circle. You can see on the edge of the football pitch there, there's a bit of a lip. Yep. There's a bit of a half metre run just inside the centre circle alone. But you know, magnificent conditions. <laughs> um, it's going to be a fast track. Uh, it's, it's a brilliant facility and no real wind to speak of. Um, at the moment, Vince. So, yep. yeah, beautiful conditions and, and no excuses for anyone today, particularly if you're playing for a team that's representing a bird. Well, exactly right. You, you're uh, in luck if that's the case. But um, this game, uh, Siren will be going any minute here. We did have it. We are running a little behind uh, on field uh, with the uh, couple of uh, injury uh, injury stoppages in this Here game. There is a siren. So, congratulations to Angle Vale. They have. Uh, cleaned up in both the um, junior grades today with the uh, junior Colts and the senior Colts. So um, well played to them and congratulations. That, um, you said Stuart Lamont, who's yep. um, not playing this afternoon. He kicked 
I think 31 goals from, from just the eight games. He was actually listed on Geelong Pats list, I think, from 96 to maybe 98. Uh, similar vintage to my era. But, uh, yeah, magnificent here for the Angle Vale footy club. The hours have gone back to back in the mixed under 14s and the yep. under 17 boys. And they'll also be representing in the reserves this afternoon. So they're looking for three on one day, whereas Dalek, this is their sole representative team. And thankfully for two wells. The uh, senior Colts went down here, but they've got uh, a big showing this afternoon. Yes, against against Malala, of course. So, uh, so that yes, again, then the Roosters and the Magpies there, a couple of the traditional traditional uh, nicknames for uh, for teams. So, so people streaming onto the oval here. They're at the end of the junior, uh, sorry, the senior Colts, I should say. So, congratulations to. To the Owls, and they'll uh, be getting underway with their presentations very, very shortly. So while we wait for that to occur, we might go to a short break, and uh, when we come back, we'll have a presentations for the se- senior Colts, followed by the start of the first broadcast game today, the Adelaide Plains Reserves Grand Final between the Balaclava Woodpeckers and the Anglevale Owls.
So welcome back here to Virginia Oval. As you can see, presentation's just uh, winding up now for the senior Colts, for the victorious team here from Anglevale who defeated two wells in the game. Both teams out on the field for the reserves today. We can see in the background the team Balaclava Woodpeckers are down the northern end of the ground, warming up the Anglevale reserves down the southern end of the ground. So, as Matt mentioned earlier, our broadcast today brought to you by Sports Interactive and Dartfish. So, uh, so two teams. Guernsey's looking a little bit, little bit similar here, both having the yellow and then a, a darkish colour. We'll have to uh, keep an eye on on that, Matt. But um, uh, both these two teams looking pretty evenly matched, I would have thought, given their records throughout the year. Certainly are. Um, thankfully, the Anglevale Owls have gone with the white shorts. But big thank you also to Dartfish. Um, we'll be giving out their... Um, oh, yes, the beanie. Afternoon. Yes, of course. Well yep. the Archies. And big thank you to Bianco for their mark of the week and ORTC. Hopefully we see plenty of quality snags throughout the day, Vince. Thank you. Big thank you to also to Buddy Bet. I'm going to go with the Ballard Club of Woodpeckers to get up by more than... 25 and a half points this afternoon. Um, obviously, big thank you again to Silver Footy and Sports Interactive for all their support and our friends from Darfish who yes. are making it to the world. So, and big thank you to Sportle. Love the Sportle scoreboard. Indeed, and uh, of course, uh, thanks also, let's not forget, to the Adelaide Plains Football uh, League who uh, we are fortunate enough to be broadcasting and for uh, it was my second year in a row on Grand Final Day. Uh, last year at the Hummocks ground, we were just uh, on the road to Blythe, just outside of Lock Hill. So we've gone from the most northern ground to this year, Virginia, one of the two most southern teams, along with Angle Vale. Um, and uh, geez, there's a massive crowd here today. I think they'd probably, of course, with the country associations, the netball grand finals over to the right of screen uh, in the behind the back pocket. Uh, which will be the uh, eastern, southeastern back pocket. So as they do, uh, they have the, the netball and football grand finals side by side with the country leagues. It's just a magnificent day for the community and, and for the whole association in general. So so good luck to all the, uh, all the girls over there in the netball grand finals as well. But our game here, both teams just uh, huddling up, going through their final handball drills and, and exercises. Absolutely perfect September day. You can just smell that September air. It's footy finals month and we absolutely love it. The best month of the year. And the day like today, there's a massive crowd all around the ground. There's tents and marquees up everywhere. They won't be able to see too much of it, but over to our left on the, on the broadcast side, uh, they are stacked 10, 15 deep in front of the club rooms and the basketball hall behind us. So that'll certainly be a very, very, uh, uh, very much an area, I should say, where we expect to hear quite a bit of support and noise coming from that part of the ground. Big thank you to also to the Virginia Footy Club uh, who are playing hosts for the Adelaide Plains Grand Final today. Not too late to get your backside trackside down here at the Virginia Oval. Magnificent uh, pork on the spit and lamb on the spit roll for $10. I must give that a strong tip because we've had some quality food in the LA Footy League, including the tea tree gully Kransky roll with the lot. But um, I'll tell you what, the, the lamb on the spit was well, magnificent down here in Virginia, so it's not too late to, to drive down the highway. Smooth moving down here nowadays on the on the highway, um, on the Port Wakefield Road. So get your backside, trackside down here for an entertaining day of football. and couple of ripping games coming up this afternoon. Two big games, exactly, yes. Two big games coming up. Firstly, the reserves players are just starting to move into position now, so we're very, very close. Running a, a little bit behind, but um, we should be ready to go. I also must pay mention to the buddy bet. Shortly. Please remember responsibly. I mentioned that protocol, so sorry about that. In our previous mention of Buddy Bet, magnificent sponsors of the Adelaide Footy League. They are, Sports they are. I'll have to take the owls in, mate, if we're looking at a, a, a Buddy Bet. So, 
Uh, yes, just uh, to remember to gamble responsibly. We'll uh, see how that one pans out. Um, the In the later game, just as players are moving to positions, we've got the uh, the Roosters and the Magpies. Two Wells are starting favourites going for an undefeated season. Huge. Undefeated season. However, Malalad that finished third were minor premiers last year, didn't make the grand final. So today could be a day of redemption for them if they're good enough. But this one here, we're just... About to get started, and we can't wait for the start of the first of two big games here at Virginia Oval. This one between Balaclava and Angle Vale. A little bit of uh, pleasantries being exchanged in the middle of the ground. Early, as you would expect. After all, it is a grand final. Just uh, a couple of players there in the middle, Andrew. Marshall and uh, Justin Michael exchanging pleasantries, but uh, we look forward to the start of this game. Of course, they do uh, have the 6-6-6 in this league, so all players either inside their 50s. Yes. Andrew Froehling. Haven't seen that too much in the league. You're with Matt Gale. So up by found a free kick before the first bounce, and I think uh, too many players inside the square from Angle Bar. So Michael Lally hand passes off. Quick kick inside, still inside the centre square. Quickly rebounded by Angle Vale as they head towards their half forward flank. No mark taken. Good attempt there by Barry Jock. Rebounded quickly. It goes out to that far side on the right half forward flank for Balaclava. Could have been a push in the back, not pay. Ferocious tackling, the pressure meters on early. Managed to keep the ball in play. A bit of a volleyball tussle in the middle there. And the umpire says, my ball on the far side. So almost true centre wing. Slightly on Balaclava's right half forward flank. Ball thrown up. Nice tap down towards the corridor. Bit of a repeat here. No. All jostling out of that uh, heated congestion. And we'll have a throw up on the right half forward flank in this opening moments of this first turn. Magoo's grand final here at the Virginia Oval. So fierce tackling from both teams here, Vince. A bit of an early introduction to the game and hopefully it opens up pretty quickly. But as you imagine, both teams trying to fill each other out early. Quick kick inside, forward 50. No mark play. Quickly off the ground, almost out of mid-air. And they've got their first goal on the board. It's a magnificent kick. And Balak has struck first. And the Pickers have hit the scoreboard for Sportal. And we're about two and a half minutes into this first turn. And it is Balak Harbour Woodpeckers. One straight six. Angle Vale hit the score. The scoreboard brought to you by Sportal. And as you know, Vince, you've got to make most of every opportunity when it's inside your forward 50. Yep. And they certainly did. They're very hard to see. The goal kicking, we're quite a fair way from the distance from our broadcast box, but uh, nonetheless, magnificent start to the ballot carver with Peppers. Okay, so up it goes again. This time Angle Vale looked like getting a clearance, they will, so they're inside 450 for the first one. At the back there, Stewart didn't, couldn't quite take the mark. Tackle immediately applied there by Peter Shepherd, and we'll have a ball up here inside the 450. So ball just comes out from the stoppage. A lot of players around the ball there. Does happen to pop out. Good tackle applied there by Casey. That's what you want to see your forwards doing, applying pressure inside their forward 50. But uh, that'll be a third stoppage now. Quick kick comes in towards a dangerous position. Looks like it uh, might be Big Campbell there. He might have kicked the goal. I think he has. Big Jordan Campbell. Well, he was the player we talked about in the early pregame. Jordan Campbell, he's kicked his first. And there's the quick reply from the Owls. Well done to Jordan Campbell. Raises the bat for 50 goals for the season. And tell you what, it was a magnificent effort. Spin on a five-cent piece. And the big man saluted. And didn't, didn't the crowd get up and about? So there's a big crowd... Following Angle Vale, and as you can imagine, they're featuring in three grand finals. They've already got two on the board. So well done to Jordan Campbell. So one apiece. 
early doors first term, B grade grand final here at Virginia Oval. So Mike Lanny, good tap in the end there by Nicholas Kelly, ball comes to ground. Kick off the ground, Bella Clava trying to keep the ball moving forward. Any numbers out of the contest, just didn't take advantage of that situation. The umpire says, I'll have it, boys. We'll quickly throw it up. Mike Lanny gets his hand on the ball. Nice work there by, sorry, Benny Abella. Ball's injured inside 450. Spinning, weaving. Nice one for the high fly. Ball comes to ground. Quick kick off from the contest. And it looks like it's hit the bottom post. And McElroy. Not sure if it bounced just in front of that goal post or not. Yes, it has. And we'll have a band of throwing. About 10 from home for Ballack. No, nope, they've pulled it out of bounds on the fall. Might be last touch. They may play last could touch. Play yeah, last could play last teams. touch. Yeah, so. maybe. Okay, so ball out to the outer side. Someone's going to want to touch that before it goes out, if, if that is the case. I believe they have. I think that last ball did ricochet into the goalpost. Ah, so I'm then it was. Sure that was a um, half ball yeah. hit on the ball. But uh, it's now moved out to almost the centre wing on the outer side. It's going to be thrown in. It's Michael Oney and Kelly. Again in the ruck, ball to the wing. It's going to uh, go over the boundary line once again. Now on true centre wing, right in front of all those magnificent marquees. Out on the outer side, you can see to the right of screen, which will now come into screen, all the balaclava ones together. They're defending here at the moment, just inside their back half. Oh, there's a lovely kick that's come out towards the outer side. Good mark. Taken there by McCurl Roy, been busy early. His kick goes about 20 metres. Good hit up. It's taken there by O'Brien. O'Brien, their leading goal kicker on the day, available today. Couldn't quite take the mark there. Might have been Tiller. Tackle applied under pressure. It's a quick kick out. Where's that one going? It might have gone through for a goal. Just... Yes, it has gone through for a goal. Excellent snap there. So that's their, their second goal to Balaclava, and so that puts them back in front, 12-6. to six. Just uh, wanting to have a little bit of a look. There you go. That was uh, Tyler Chapman who kicked that goal. So, well done there to Tyler Chapman. Perfect opportunist goal there. Vince, um, quick snap out of the pack. And I tell you what, they want to get a bit more uh, fired up on the field because there's not much to prove. Just on. refresh it and then good work. Anyway, back to the middle. And they've made a change in the ruck, so it's a cur a cur by the looks of it. No, it's not. We've got uh, Eric Jook in the ruck against Michael Lanny. Harry Jook springs away as a ruckman. Gets it out to open part here. Allows his runners to run up. Just needs a prime bounce. Gets the hand pass over the top towards Nick Kelly, who's swapped out of the ruck. Tumble kick unfairly to 15 with five. And it lands fortuitously on the chest of Zachary Cooper. So Cooper might be too far out. He's going to have to kick from outside the paint here. Just checks the distance. Does the old Matty Lloyd flick the, the uh, grass to see the <laughs> angle of the, the wind? Not a lot of breeze here today. And if the tarmac does kill him. Sorry, Cooper. Cooper gives it plenty, but he's not going to make the distance. Looking in the distance of uh, Campbell. No mark paid. Some good roving at ground level. Get the hand pass there to Mitchell. Mitchell kicks to a one on two. Ball goes out to that far side. Rough old bounce. Just gets that chip in and we read the pressure to Benny Abella. Abella plays on quickly, goes out wide. Not his best effort. It'll trickle out of play. Ball over bounce throw in. Uh, it, it is last it is touch. touch. Yeah. So they're playing immediately. Angle Var. Kick inside 50. Tumbling kick. No mark taken. Lands on the chest of Abella. So he's starting to rack them up early. It's a kick out to a one on three. Just that twisting left foot boot. Goes in board. Finds Cooper. Cooper finds a target. Just need to maintain the control here. Twist and turn is Stewart. Stewart, nice little yeah, kick. Good kick. And I think he's found the chest of Cooper again. So he's turning back on the play. Not the best idea in my book. Zachary Cooper, but he seems quite confident. He's about a similar distance as to his previous kick, just a lot, slight more in front uh, with the angle. 
And so he didn't make the distance on the last kick. And as the tarmac kicks right on the 50 paint. And he's happy with it. He's he ran to the boundary line. Look out. Oh. And he had saluted to the faithful. And he's given the cobra. So well done to Zachary Cooper, who nails his first. And uh, plenty of crowd support here this afternoon for the hours. Yeah, so two goals, a two goals apiece. Entertaining start here. We've gone about eight minutes. And uh, entertaining start, 12 apiece. Ball's uh, been zipping around end to end. So um, both teams have had opportunities and taken them. So long may that continue. We're... Uh, I'd love to see a shootout in the Magoos Well, you, normally, you, traditionally, you wouldn't, but um, it's been very, very entertaining so far. Up they go again. Handball comes to Stewart. Stewart get involved. Gets it across here. Oh, the short kick was that a little bit late there on Jamie Lamb, but I think it was. It will go down the field. In, ever, in any case, it has uh, ended up with his teammate anyway, so they're going to get the shot on goal regardless. And this time it will be Jacob McKay that's got the ball and going to be shooting from probably about 35, maybe 45 degree angle, right uh, almost in line with our commentary position here on the uh, southwestern back flank. So in he comes here, Jacob McKay. He's gone early as well. And for the first time today... The Owls have hit the front, so well done there to Jacob McKay. He kicks the goal, and the long may this continue. It's three to two. I think the Owls own, so, own the uh, right-hand pocket here, and he's just done the baby shuffle towards the, the crowd in the right-hand pocket. So well done there to Jacob McKay, who's our second-leading goal kicker for the Owls this season, registers his 18th goal. Very spirited start uh, by the Owls. Got a club, but getting their two goals relatively easy. Not much crowd support for the Packers. Back to the middle. Mike Laddie's still in the ruck. Looks like Kelly's going back in. The tap from both players comes to ground. You get the women there getting involved. It's very hard to see these dudes. He's been some One's got a white and one's got a, a green pair of shorts on. It's very hard to see. Ball comes towards that hot spot and they repel the air. Then they've got a runner out wide. Goes towards Stewart. Goes over his head. There's one player at the back here. In uh, Chapman, they eventually get it forward. A strong mark that left half forward. There by Michael Lady the Ruckman plays inside and gets a kick inside 50. Tough mark could be holding on. The umpire's seen it that way. So Harry Jock just holds on in the, in the contest. And probably had too much of a height advantage. He probably didn't need to hold on. Dulles can they even the scoreboard? And I think we've got Tyler Chapman lining up for his second. So he's made a very handy start in contribution to his side's endeavours. So Chapman enters the tarmac. Flat kick as you need to against the win. And he's poked it through. So Tyler Chapman very busy early with two goals. It looks like they're going to be running a fair bit of play through him this afternoon. Vince. Yeah, <laughs> so pardon me, 3-3. Three, three. It is. Entertaining start. Both teams kicking straight. About 12 minutes done here. And, um, yeah, 18 apiece. And uh, this is a very, very entertaining game. We're uh, really enjoying how this one has started out. So we were sort of wondering where Balaclava's goals were going to come from. Well, uh, Chapman has um, started very, very well. Tyler Chapman, these two goals up. They go again. Kelly gets it down that time. Just, it's going to be kicked forward here by McElroy. Been busy early. Ball goes to the outer side. Intercept mark has been taken. And this will give the Owls the chance to relieve and repel. So it goes out towards the outer side. Excellent spoil there by Ben Heaslip. That's... Uh, enabled them to get the ball over the boundary line. That will be a boundary throw in there. And Eri Jock will be contending that with... Well, it actually looks like it'll be Von Heymanek. So neither Ruckman actually gets their hands to it. Ball's on the ground there in dispute. A lot of players just around the ball at the moment. Umpire's going to come in. That one's not coming out. And 
He will ball it up just forward to centre here for the Packers. Von Heymanek gets it down. But it's going to be sharked here by the Owls. They're running in numbers. String of handballs ends up with Kelly. Kelly's kick inside forward 50. Where's Campbell? Campbell caught behind. Now he's got it. Campbell on the snap. It's bouncing. Is it going to bounce through? It is. What a goal from Jordan Campbell. Wow, he's got two as well. And the lead goes back to the Owls. Big Campbell train. And he's got two snaps on the board. And, geez, he looks comfortable. Looking forward to seeing him have a set shot. So it's great to see that uh, Ron Heyman at is the first goal kicker of the match for the Woodpeckers. We found that one out for Vince. A bit of research on Ron. But, yeah, Jordan Campbell. Geez, he's going to have a big telling uh, and a big save today. Now, this one's going to pan out, but if he can kick five, they'll get home. And another one from the Tommy Jamal footballing factory. <laughs> He didn't he let us know it too before the game. TJ, he's uh, headed off to Park Nine. So he comes out of his centre clearance. And Wayne Case has been holding the ball. That tackle. He's come out of his wing side. Nice mark there to Vaughan Heymanak. He switches play. Crutch ball off the boot of Shackley. That should get a turn over here, Angleval. Runs away with the bounce. A bit of duress at the moment goes in that Campbell direction. Why wouldn't you? All comes to the ground. Big man recovers well. Going to take a bit to get him down. Strong tackling, and we'll have a good luck. 45 from home before the hours. So Angle Vale starting to, to get on top here. Campbell in the rack up against Vaughan Hayden. One on three, so not much support here for the Peckers. Good tackling. And he's got to push him in the back. Trying to maintain control. Can't quite control it there with Waylon Casey. Trying to tackle there by Ron Hamanak. Following up his good work as a ruckman. Tap there by... A curve curve. Ball comes inside 50. He's got the target there. And they'll have another shot on goal. Not sure that was a free down field, but it was a perfect kick to the hot spot and what you'd expect as a forward just to be in front. Yeah, good kick just to a dangerous position and it's inevitably that does fall into one of the forwards hands. So this this occasion, Nick Kelly's got it. He's yeah, been impressive early too. Yeah, so Kelly's been in the best place, 12 out of 17 games. Started in the ruck and obviously floats forward as well. Shouldn't have any problems with the distance. Kicks from about 35. Oh, he sprayed it. Good, good and proper old school spray, that one. And it's out of bounds on the four. But still showing no blemish on the scoreboard. It's oh, four to three. Seven goals apiece. <laughs> seven goals between them, so it's four to three. So quick kick, dangerous kick into a dangerous position, but well done to Pearson. So the skipper's got it, 25 out from his own goal. Onto that trusty left, long left, goes right to the middle of the ground. Goes to a two and one, but well done. There by Brown, able to get a fist in, follows up with a beautiful tackle applied there on McElroy. Umpire will come in right on the centre, just to the side of the square. So unattended with the tap there was uh, Freer. So ball's going to come out, tackle applied there on Justin Michael. He's not getting out of that one. Good tackle there by Erijok. And the umpire will ball it up again. So it should be Erijok and Von Heimanek here. So Von Heyman it gets it down, but again, it's just uh, tightened up a little bit here now, the last minute or so. Ball still inside the centre square. 24 to 18 in favour of the Owls. And they do get the ball out of stoppage. Grubbly little kick. Oh, good pick up by Kelly, but tackled immediately. Excellent tackle there, yeah, just as Kelly was about to get his boot on the ball there. Well done there to Bryce Chapman, the vice-captain. Gets a relieving kick outside of 50, decides to go to the outer side. Now the kick will go long down the wing. And good marks being taken. Is that Von Heymanek out there? Yeah, good mark there by the Ruckman on the centre wing. Oh, the kick's a little bit uh, scrubbly. But they do manage now to get it inside forward 50 to a one-on-one. -on -one. Good spoil from behind. Might have been by Douglas. Now the ball's battling on the ground right in the forward pocket. That's not going to come out. We'll have a ball up. Dangerous position here. 
and the Packers looking looking to even up the game. All thrown up. Boss found a free kick out of this rut contest, and the free kick will go to a fur curve. So it looks like he'll ruck and then hold back into defence. Goes down the line. Managed to get out of his D50. Von Heyman almost in that contest as well. Ball comes out of that contest. Quick kick out in a one-on-two situation. And I think Angle Vale would be pretty happy to see that ball go out of play. Well, with throw up on the far side, centre wing. So we're heading towards time on first term. Entertaining first quarter, to say the least. Quick hand pass out of that clearance. Beautiful work as a kick to half forward. Campbell lurking out the back. They get out to him, he's off to the races. Not that he'll run too fast, the big man, but he's out the back again. Just need to get out of that uh, very congested area on that left half forward flank up. I said, I've had enough boys off throwing up. So, pretty much time on now. First turn. Players are going to be tonguing it, particularly in the second half, Vince, given that it is quite hot out here. Must be around about the 25, 20 to 6 degree mark. And ball will chip out. No one touches it. We'll have the uh, last disposal kick. So, Ken Engerval, let's get one more just to build their lead out to 12 points, hopefully by quarter time. Strong mark. Playing yeah. above his height there was Jamie Lambert. Plays on quickly, got the switch on. It comes out to Douglas. Douglas plays on quickly, goes in the direction of Ken, won't make him. Oh, should have marked that there was Marshall. Quick kick and a bit of a spray is our first blemish. Now it's out of bounds. And that'll be the last position in the free kick to Brownlee. Spot on, my friend. 25 degrees currently. So a warm day out there. Magnificent September day. As we see Stuart just on the mark here. But uh, Balaclava looking to clear, which they have from D50. So Pack's going to form good punch from behind by Douglas. Been resolute in defence. Tackle applied there by McKay. Maybe might have been a little bit higher. Umpire said no. We'll play it on now. He does come in. He grabs the ball from Bryce Chapman and up it goes again. So quick kick comes out here from Lambert. Lambert goes wide. Well done there in defence to Chapman. He gets the handball now. Over to Pierce and the captain. Pierce's kick right in front of us here at centre wing. Over the back. Couldn't quite take it. Ashby. He applies the tackle, umpire will come in, we'll have another ball up. So, I reckon some players may be looking for the quarter time siren, just have a break. Up it goes. So, umpire there, might a strong tackle from Donaldson. He actually now gets the free kick. So, Griffin Donaldson puts it just inside, forward 50, up they go. Good punch from behind, there by Marshall. Trying to keep it in there, Stuart. Can he do that? Not quite. I tell you what, if that, if that wasn't the boundary up by, Stuart was about to run through that if that was a ballot player. He had to hold up. Umpire will ball it in. About 40 around from the Owls goal. Good tap down there by Von Heymanek. Ball comes just outside of 50. Quick rush kick, kick there. That was uh, by Williams. But it's going to be intercepted. So coming straight back in here. There is the siren. That was from Eric Jock. Ball got inside the centre, half forward. Siren went as that was in the air. So no opportunity there for the Owls to take a mark and extend their lead. What a great first quarter we witnessed here. Four goals to three in favour of the, well, the underdog team, that we should say, coming from fourth against uh, Balaclava who did finish second, but they've started strongly here. The Owls are goal kickers for them. Uh, Big Campbell, two. Uh, Cooper, one. And Mackay, uh, kickers Von Heymanek got the first of the day. And Chapman then chimed in with a couple. It's four goals to three here at Virginia Oval. Magnificent day. Magnificent start. We've got seven more quarters of this to go. <laughs>
Welcome back, second quarter action. Nathan Young from the uh, watch. Today, but um, having a, had a, had a um, reasonable year in the in the twos, um, got a few wins up, but uh, finished in sixth spot. But here, the two teams in the grand final, which doesn't include the minor premier, Balaclava three straight, Angle Vale four straight, and uh, we had a couple of out on the falls as well. But there are no blemishes on the score to date <laughs> at this point. So. Let's see how this one unfolds for the second quarter. Up they go again. Uh, it look like the ball's coming out from, from there. Just watching uh, McElroy on the bench here. Vince looks like he's suffering a little bit from some type of injury. Maybe a corky. So ball... Coming back in from Balaclava's defence back inside the forward 50. He's almost going to traverse the square. Oh, look, a beautiful pickup. Now the kick comes in towards forward 50. Excellent spoil in front. But the uh, pickup is going to be by Joe O'Brien. That kick's high. Get under that. Good luck. Up highest there was Erijok, but he may have given away a free kick yes. in his attempt there. I think he has. And so first opportunity here for the Woodpeckers to even up the score in the opening minute of the second quarter. So, Von Hamanek, been very prominent early, been playing a bit in the ruck, now up forward. Chance to kick the opening goal for his team in the second quarter, as he did in the first. Von Hamanek, right in front of us, we've got a good eye, it's a shocking oh. kick. <laughs> and good mark, it looks like that's Eric Jock back there has uh, taken the mark he has made up for his uh, little indiscretion to give away that free kick. He decides to go to the outer side, right to the edge of the 50. Good mark taken in front there. Been impressed with this young man here, Nick Kelly. So Nick Kelly, just a short pass, just a true centre-half back. Douglas has got it. Decides to come out towards broadcast side. Long may that continue. Good kick too. Dalliston's got it. Spots a little one inside. Good kick. Well done. Jordan Ashby. So Ashby now, they've moved the ball up to centre wing. He decides to switch to the other side of the square. He's kicked to a two-on-one against. And the uh, intercepting mark's been taken there by Jack Tiller. So Tiller spots a Bella in the middle of the ground. Ben Abella looks up. Oh, lovely weighted kick there to Joe O'Brien. So O'Brien now. Sees the lead on. Oh, look at that bullet. What a fantastic kick from Joe O'Brien. Oh, he's done the strength. Oh, look out. Fantastic kick. Good lead, too, by Chapman. He's been really uh, they're causing uh, the defence there of the Owls some, some grief early in this game. He's lining up for his third, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, he's got that hamstring strap, too. There. Yeah, keep an eye on that right string. He'll be kicking from around about 30. Slide angle, Chapman, oh, that might have affected the kick there, has it? Umpire spotted something has been touched. He's actually called, he's called a holding free kick. So this will be a certain goal now. We'll keep Von an Heimann. eye on Chapman, but uh, Von Heimannick, another the other forward who's been a uh, bit in the ruck and causing some grief. So they've got, uh, they've got a couple of people here. We wondered who it was going to be today. Well, we're finding out Von Heimannick. And mm. Chapman, they've got two each, and uh, scores a level again. It's been a topsy-turvy score uh, scoreboard for Sportal. Four goals apiece, and we've had changes almost uh, on a regular basis. So Von Amanak registers his second, and Tyler Chapman will have to keep an eye on that hamstring because uh, they need him to, him to play out the game. We can't afford to see him go down. So it looks like Michael Anny will go up against Kelly in the ruck. Back to the middle. Entertaining game. And out of that contest runs away with McKay. Goes out to the far side. And well read there. 
Oh, it looks like we've got a hamstring on that far side, just off that kick. We'll have to keep an eye out there. Anyway, the player through the middle, dangerous kick. Michael Lanny can't make the contest. Excellent attack on the ball by Marshall. You know, he's given away the free kick, maybe a little bit over-adventurous with his endeavours. Chapman just pulls up a little bit there. So they kick out to this far side, open spaces. One for the fast runners. Lands in the lap there of Zachary Cooper. Goes a worm burner. Could get it back here if he's smart enough. Comes back to him. Sells a bit of eye candy to the people on the sideline. It works well for him. Lands on the chest of Lambert. Lam a high ball inside Ford 50. Could have been better taught because it lands on the lap of Kelly. And he slots it with a nice Ooh, little sneaky wow. snap from the Ruckman. So, I'll tell you what, Nicholas Kelly... He's obviously played a lot of footy at the reserves level this year because he's got best players 12 out of 17 games, but he, he looks a bit too good for this standard in my mind there, Bits. Yeah, wow, what a game we're witnessing Five here. Five goals to four. Five to four, exactly right. And uh, Kelly becomes their fourth goal kicker. Fantastic uh, work there on the snap. And uh, we're uh, only four minutes in, and this has just continued exactly where we left off. It's like Groundhog Day. This has been fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's hope we get four quarters of that. The magnificent good goal there from Kelly. It's five to four in favour of the Owls. And we hope you're enjoying this as much as we're enjoying calling it up. They go again. Kelly does get something on it this time. It's coming through mail there. Fantastic work. Now the ball's going to end up inside. 450. I'll play here. It's like lead. Oh, he's dropped the mark. There. Was that Von Heyman? It's going to get it back. Gets the handball. Second handball comes out here to Heinrich. Oh, what's happened there? He's given it back to Chapman. Chapman on the oh, snap. Heimer. It's going to end up with Von Heimannack. Well, almost. It was an almost a, a, a comedy of errors, but it was a comedy of good luck there for Balaclava. And this is like a heavyweight boxing foul. It's just punch <laughs> for punch here. We could have our fifth our fifth lead change and or level. And we've had, uh, there's only been 10 goals, so it's either been level or a goal to, goal to difference. Unbelievable. Von Heimannack going for his third. He kicked one in the third minute of the first. He kicked one in the third minute of the second. Has he got one in the sixth minute? Oh, is that our first blemish? It, it is. is. Oh, you give a man a rap. That happens every every time. So that'll be the first blemish. It's 4-1-25 to the Peckers trailing by five points. So Peter Von Heymanak. We're nine straight. And if you saw last night's AFL game, that's cost Melbourne two weeks in a row. Von Heyman, act strong, Mark. Take that front position in front of uh, Harry Jock. He's too far out from home. What does he do? Got one on in the pocket. Looks to go a little bit deeper. Looking for a target. Coming over the back there. Chapman. Great work was Chapman. Oh, no. So he's obviously not showing any signs of that enhancing. And our boundary umpire from ZZ Top says, I'll have a throw in, boys. You just saw one there. <laughs> no, no, we've got a free kick for last position out of bounds, maybe. I'm not sure. It didn't look like it was a last position out of bounds, that but it Chapman? looks like we've got Chapman on the boundary line. He's going to the left foot snap. He tell you what, it's a beautiful looking leg. Oh, hey. oh wow. And Chapman registers his third. So the big players are out to play today. Hamstring or no hamstring, he's not showing too many signs of that holding him back. Slight limp, but left foot peg, what a goal. And these are the sort of goals that win your grand finals, Vince. Yeah, so that's a uh, Bianco goal of the day there, absolutely. So um, eight minutes in, and it's 5-1 uh, to five straight. Chapman's got three, Von heymanek has got two. Campbell has two for the, well, I was going to say the visitors, but they're not today. They're just the uh, uh, designated away team, the Anglevale Owls. But uh, ball hasn't been down there that much for him to add to his tally. But up they go again. Good tap down by Michael Annie. Umpires picked out something. Uh, well, it looks like a bell is off running, but uh, it's going to have to come back. But, wow, what a, what a start to this game. So, eventually, comes back. Now, uh, it looks like going to throw yeah, it up again. He's going to ball it up again. I'm not sure after all that. We're going back to the start. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like it is, yes. Umpire's got the ball. Everyone's back inside their zones. And 
We'll never get that 20 seconds of our life back again. But up they go. Good tap down by Michael Aining now. The ball ends up inside 50. Here comes Von Heymanek again. Gets it over there to O'Brien. O'Brien's kick is smart. Goes in towards true centre-half forward. And Justin Michael's got it. So he'll be kicking from about 45 out directly in front. The lead at the moment is one. Any score will... Well, a goal will actually finally take uh, the low, largest lead of the game out past the goal. So, in he comes now, Michael. There's the kick. Umpire looks like... Well, umpire didn't move far, but it's definitely gone through for a point. And uh, so that lead now moves out. You know, it's doubled. It's out to two behinds. So, 10-minute mark, second term. Halfway through this... Uh Second quarter, and there's two points of margin on the sport of scoreboard. Favouring Balak. I don't know what the umpire's found a free kick here, or is he? Maybe he wasn't out of the... I think uh, Eric wasn't out of the area, or the required zone. Maybe Van Heymanak wasn't actually out on his line, which is about 15 metres out from that goal square. Comes out looking for Kelly on a one or two. Could have got a nudge in the back. Umpire didn't see it that way. He keeps it in well. Well balanced there. O'Brien gets his kick in for side 50. Van Heymanak can't pick up the pill, gets it back. Looking dangerous. So ground level, can they make some hay while the sun shines? Beautiful kick mid-air by Williams. Will it get shepherded through? Lands in the lap of Trapp and he's got four. Woo, unbelievable. Terrific work. No, it's not Chapman. It's actually Michael Annie, the Ruckman. Or was it Chapman? No, I think it might, have been, it might have been Chapman. It looked like 49 yeah, to me. Yeah, it did so. look like 49. It was Chapman. So he's, yep. uh, he's got four already. And I'll tell you what, stars are made on grand final. Eh? He could be in for a massive afternoon, Tyler Chapman, with four goals to his name. And Von Heyman, eh? he's causing all sorts of headaches for the Owls defence as well, Vince. So the uh, Owls have got a little bit of thinking to do. That's the uh, largest lead of the game now, eight points. Some experienced heads for Balak. And up it goes again. Michael Annie gets it down. They're getting on top in the middle. Little quick kick forward there by Michael. Now longer kick forward. That time looked like it might have been Tiller. It's inside 50. Oh, they're going to get another shot on goal. The kick comes out here, but it's a very intelligent kick. And that's found Sam Williams. So Samuel Williams has got it. It's going to be about 40 out directly in front. Pretty casual customer too. So they've had the last Sammy four Williams. scoring shots. So Sam Williams looking to become the third goal kicker for Balaclava. And they uh asserting a little bit of ascendancy so far in this second quarter. Oh, it's a wobbly old kick. It's going to go to the near side. So another blemish. That's five scoring shots in a row for 2-3. And that takes their margin out to nine. New highest margin of the game. So... Kick comes in, it's taken well by Aerojock. Aerojock looks to go towards the wing. Kick comes up, it's a good kick, well weighted. And good mark taken there by Andrew Marshall. So Marshall's kick is high. Almost intercepted there, he's got it, he slipped, goes around, snaps it. It's clever snap, might get it uh, after disposal. It's gone to the vice captain Chapman anyway. So he took the mark. So Chapman decides to go short now. That's good running there by Heinrich. You know, he doubled back. Good second lead. He's got it on true centre wing here, right in front of the broadcast side. So now the ball ends up in front of us on the half forward flank. Up they go. Harry Jock up high. Two hands. Couldn't quite take it. Kelly actually doing the the roving. It's going to come out to Stewart. That's not going any further. He just takes it over the boundary line. True centre wing here. Eight points. Nine points. The margin here in favour of Bella. So, uh, interesting decision by Stewart. Just walk the ball over the boundary umpire. Kelly over the back. Nice tap work, strong work there at ground level there by O'Brien. He's not going anywhere. He's been done for holding the ball. Didn't have much prior, but nonetheless, the free kick will be taken there by McKay. So they need to get some control back in the game. It's all been one-way traffic for Balak for most of this second term. Kicks down the line looking for Campbell. Big man can't get his hands on the ball. What a recovery. Going to take some manpower to get him down in the hat and he's holding the ball. So play on quickly, Balak. You've got a player on the middle. 
goes to a one on two. So the Owls have the numbers. It's actually two on two at ground level. One for the fast runners. And not sure they'll keep that ball in. They do, in fact. The Owls have done well here. So they end up kicking that ball in play. Or no, no they don't. Some will call it back for a very throw in. Far side centre wing. So really important five minutes coming up here for the Angle Vale Owls if they had to stay in this game because Balaclava really clearly on top at the moment. And I think if they give them a sniff, they'll run away with it and add a couple more real quick ones here. They run out of that uh, contest, heading towards Von Heymanak. Can't take the mark. Ball at ground level, kicking off the ground just to try and keep that ball moving. Oh, could have got clean right up there oh. and a strong tackle. And uh, that's the way you need to tackle. He could have really done some damage there on that far side. Tempers flaring. Umpire does the right thing, just balls it up as you do. Quick kick inside 50 for Anger Vale. And I think they'll have a throw in about 45 from home, Vince. Yeah, so Lachlan McKay couldn't quite take the mark there in the forward pocket. So right on the intersection of the 50 and the boundary. They need a goal here, Campbell. Not going to move him out of a ruck contest. He just palmed it down beautifully. He kicks smothered. Now there's a quick kick that comes out, but it's going to end up straight in the arms here of Beeching. He gets the ball over to Freer. Freer's tackled. That'll be holding the ball. Incorrect disposal. So excellent tackle by Bella there. See, something he likes to the outer side. Oh, beautifully weighted kick again. That's the second time, and McElroy's got it. Been busy through the middle of the ground, McElroy. Looks inside, was looking there. Possibly was going to go to Michael Annie. Instead, decides to go down the line. At the back there, couldn't quite take the Mark Chapman. Now applying the tackle. Good a tackle applied there on Airy Jock. And uh, just coming in to say, um, welcome, uh, my name's Jordan Ashby there. A little bit of push and shove. <laughs> And up it goes again. White Glenny didn't quite get to that one to do the ruck contest, but Erijok's going to get the free kick and should be able to relieve. Spot something up in the middle, got a runner. Good kick. Well done. Lambert's got it. Gives off the handball. McKay. He's got someone in the middle there, all by himself there. Marshall. Now he's going to be able to get the overlap. Oh, but he misses with the handball. Made it. Got some work here to do. Dalliston. Can't quite get it done. Good work. Done in the back lines there. Now the other ball's rebounding back the other way. Who's first there? It's going to be McElroy. Gets it out to Tyler Chapman. Nothing wrong with his hamstring. Kick sides go wide. Looking there for Von Heymanek. Second go picks it up. Gets it back. Good running forward. McElroy. It's going to end up here with Chapman. What's he going to do? Handball going back to O'Brien. They're mucking around with it. O'Brien gets the handball. It's going to be tackled here. That must be holding the ball. It is. So just trying to do too much, looking for the perfect shot on goal, but well done there with Bro and Davies. Stopped a certain goal there and keeps that margin down at uh, nine points. So Davies plays on. Goes out to the far side. Great kick in the end because it was a one on three. If it was at ground level. Pokes the hand pass over the top. So Kelly doing the roving work. The Ruckman gets a hurried kick inside 50, looking for Big Campbell. Goes through him. Some strong work at ground level by Kerr. Kerr comes out the back of the contest. Quick kick. Goes across the face of goal. And they couldn't quite keep it in there. End up punching it out of play, so just, it wasn't a yeah, last just, position. just touched. So smart. That's right. It's almost deliberate, but yeah. in effect, they need to do it so that it's not a turnover. So it's an interesting uh, run of events when they have this last position out of bounds because players do try and touch it to keep it out, which in effect is actually... Out of bounds and not keeping it in play. Umpire's found a free kick off this ruck contest. Or as he said, throw it back in, please, because your throw in's a bit too narrow. Maybe that's the case. And looks like we'll have a repeat throw in. Plenty of numbers around this contest. It's almost like a mini league. Follow the pill. Nice throw in by the boundary umpire. Good tap over the back there by He Slip. Gets it out to some runners. Comes out in the direction of Brown. Just needs to control it here. Brown, a high up and under, looking for Campbell. Held on from the front of the Guernsey. He didn't get a free kick, has he? He has. Yeah, he did hold the front of the Guernsey, and it's a dead giveaway with a fist full of Guernsey in his hand. And Campbell, can he add a much needed goal here for the Angle Vale Owls? And I tell you what, and get the crowd excited, and that's what they need. They need that momentum heading into half time. We're 19 minutes down. 
second term, and this goal, this goal is worth its weight in gold and almost the weight of the big man Jordan Campbell. So no problems with the distance, angle should be fine. Campbell enters the tarmac, lining up for goal number 52 for the season. Just comes in casual as you like, and he has slotted through a behind. Well, they liked it behind the goal, but umpire's the one that matters. Pretty casual approach here by Campbell and Paul Pasha will cost you Vince. Yeah, so first uh, first blemish for the Owls. They trail by eight points. Ball inside the centre square. Contest in the middle of the ground. Going to end up with Cooper. Cooper goes long. Cooper goes strong right to the goal face. Has it been touched or hasn't it? It hasn't. What a goal there from Zach Cooper. So talked about a much needed goal and they got one there. So back to two points, the margin. 6-3, one 37 on the scoreboard. Accurate goal king. You don't really see this in many B-grade games, let alone a B-grade granny. And I tell you what, Zachary Cooper... Two delightful goals and two even better goal celebrations. So uh, he is going to be up and about this afternoon and he won't leave anything in the tank. So back to the middle, Michael Annie to go up against Kelly. Uh, I'm not sure how many minutes we've got per quarter here, Vince, but it must be very close to the half time interval. Yeah. Kelly goes up, great roving at ground level. That chip's not 15, but play on, says the umpire. Hand passes into space, a bit of friendly fire. Pins in the lap of Stewart. Gets it out to Kelly. Mucking around with it a little bit. Still lands in the chest there, I think. And they'll go deep. Looking for Campbell. Instead, it lands in Marshall's lap and he kicks a goal. So they've hit the lead here. We're just talking about they needed a much needed goal. Now they've gone bang, bang, hit the lead. Wow, so, where is what a fantastic... Turn of events and a turn in the game itself. Is. Well, where has that come from? Two goals in a, a space of a minute, and suddenly the lead has changed again. 7 1, 43 to 6 3, 39. So that is lead change number five, mind you. And Marshall becomes the fifth goal kicker there with a couple of late goals in this second quarter. So we've played 21 and a half minutes here, and suddenly, after being basically Dominated for most of this quarter. Balaclava looked like they had all the running. Had five scoring shots in a row, which netted them 2-3. May they, they may rue that later in the game. Big fist forward there by Freer in the ruck now. So tackle applied by Stewart. Just allows his teammate there in Lambert to pick up the spilt ball. Goes inside. Where's Campbell? Campbell gets two hands up. Can't quite take it. Roving well was Casey. The ball's going to end up over the boundary line. I reckon it is. Right in front of that scoreboard that shows that suddenly it's a four-point margin to the Owls, leading Ballack's 6-3-39. Oh, it's going to be taken straight out of the ruck here. Off the back, but the snap goes to the near side, so margin now will increase to five. So the sport of scoreboard on your screen is correct, just the one at the ground here. Says it's 6 to 44 and it should be 7 to 44. Just for those viewers at home checking out the sport of scoreboard at the ground. Thumping kick back into the middle of play. Goes into the centre square. Can they get a late goal? Lands in the lap of Stewart. Stewart's got some time on his hands. He spent it pretty quickly. Comes out towards McKay. Gets the switch on. Hand pass doesn't make its target. So it's an opportunity for Ballack to potentially get a late one. Got that player behind the ball, and he's rushed over the boundary line. I'll have a throw in. Not a bad spot for both sides, and very close to the halftime siren here. So Michael Lanning at the back grabs it out of the ruck contest. Abella's been busy. You think he's going to get plenty of it in the second half of Balak are going to be a chance. Good punch towards the boundary line there by McElroy. So they get that kick out of the contest. And unfortunately, it just lands there on the lap of Heaslip. And there's the half-time siren. And on the sport of scoreboard, 
It is 7 44 6-3-39. What a magnificently entertaining first half. We'll be back right after these key messages.
So half time here at uh, Virginia Oval, absolute peach of a day, picturesque ground, the lovely trees in the background, not a cloud in the sky, not a breath of wind either. So just about to start, umpire holds the ball aloft and let's uh, see how this one pans out. We're no closer to knowing who's going to win this game. Up it goes, Michael Annie with the tap, good tap down, and Bella goes off the ground, gets the ball up towards him, 50 follows up, receives the handball, tackled well. And umpires called it as a high tackle. There, a little bit of a indiscretion. And Abella's got it. See something he likes, goes short. Good kick. Umpire calls not 15. Handball's going to come back. He might get a third go here, Abella. Just, uh, now, oh, just drops the handball. Now he's on the ground, tackled. Ball does come out. Opportunity here for them to clear. Errant handball, though. Under a lot of pressure here early in the third quarter. The Owls' defence. Umpire will come in now. And ball it up, around about 40 metres out directly in front from the Balak goal. So ball thrown up. Eric Duke up early. Kicked off the ground there. Just hopeful more than anything, just to find a bit of free space out of that congestion. Ball spotted out there was Chapman. Ball goes inside 50. Couldn't take the mark. There was the defender for Angle Vale. Strong work by Eric Juk. No mark taken. Ball comes to ground. bella has been on fire early. Early touches, but amounting to not much. And Bowles throw it up. About 20 from home. First goal very crucial for both teams. As you can imagine, in such a close grand final. Five points. The difference on the sport of scoreboard in the favour of the Anglevale Footy Club. From the boundary. I tell you what, that looks like a magnificent goal. No, it's a point. You don't have to get too excited about their Vince. Uh, point of the day so far to the Packers. And so that takes that uh, lead back to four points. So a couple of minutes in here. Ball now has come out. Almost the centre wing. Good mark taken there by Lambert. They're moving the ball well here. This is Stewart. Now on true centre wing. He decides to go long right in front of us here. Pack's going to form. Big fly up there by Marshall. Couldn't quite take the mark. That will be a last touch. And yes, it's going to be a free kick here. So the ball now comes inside forward 50. Looking for Campbell. Can't get one mitt to it. Goes after it now. Freer. I heard, thought I heard a whist, whistle there. Yeah, we have heard a whistle. No, it's the netball. No, it's the netball whistle. There you go. Of course, that happening over there in the background. So ball over on the far centre wing. <laughs> and Sam Williams is uh, tackled there. Will. We'll have a uh, ball up. Up they go. So Freer taps on behind. Oh, Balaclava out the back here. First one there is going to be Michael. Michael's kick goes in towards forward 50, looking there for Von Heymanek. Von Heymanek gets rid of his opponent, picks it up now. Von Heymanek, where's he going to go? Decides to go with the handball. The snap now is high. It's wide. It won't make a goal, but it goes to a one-on-one. -on -one. And umpire's going to bring out a free kick. Oh, oh might have been a little bit ticky touch wood, but uh, they won't mind the Packers. They've got it here, and it's that man, Tyler Chapman. My God, he's going for his fifth. <laughs> Tyler Chapman. So he'll be kicking from around about oh, only 15, 20 metres out. A little bit of an angle, though, so he's got a bit of work to do. Tyler Chapman comes in. He's got a handful, Tyler Chapman. And that now is the sixth lead change of the day. So Pecker's off to a strong start again, as they have. They've kicked the opening goal in all three of the quarters, and uh, we have a two-point game. We certainly do, so... Slow start to the second half for both players and commentators, I must admit, they're Vince. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Balaclava <laughs> struck first. I think everyone's still on their heels. Oh, I know. That was a short, shortest, shortest half-time half break in the uh, Adelaide Plains Football League history. <laughs>
trying to buy a bit of catch up. There's been uh, a couple of moments where stretches have been on the field in the senior Colts, and uh, they've needed to catch up on a bit of time. And what better time to do it than run the ragged B grade into the ground a bit? So Angle Val out of that clearance comes out the back and beats all comers, comes towards Stewart. He overruns the ball. He's still in the situation of getting involved. Quick kick there by Michael. Goes out of the wing fortuitously. Lands in a teammate's lap. The run on hand pass goes to Chapman. Chapman goes to half forward. Just gets it inside forward 50. Punched out of there. And some strong work out of defence. Just needs to pick the ball up. And I'm quite happy to see it out of play. Almost deliberately lets it go out. And I think the fullback's just a bit too far from home. And said, I'll, I'll let that one go out. And I'll have a boundary throw in on that far side. Right half forward flank for Bullock. Hand pass out of the contest was Michael again. He's been pretty busy this afternoon. Some strong tackling on that far side. And very congested. So it's a matter of yards and metres at the moment. I think that's a Bella out the back who, who's made a sensational start to this second half. So as we've mentioned, every goal worth oh, they're like their gold today, yeah. they are worth diamonds out here. And they're not diamonds in the rough because they're all sharp shootings. 14 goal six is the total aggregate score on the Sportal scoreboard, which is super impressive at this level. And some uh, tempers starting to get flared on that far side. Throw it up, umpire. And I don't know if they have reds and yellows here, Vince, but there could have been a couple of culprits sent off there. Um... And now it's a free kick. Looks like it's going in the favour of Benny and well, Bella and a 50 yellow. metre. Yep, I think that's uh, Matthew Stewart. That looks like he's uh, heading off with the umpire. A bit of sin bin action. <laughs> anyway, they get the ball inside. 50 comes out the back. Harry Jook's got a, fa a fair bit of uh, pressure on his shoulders. He's very cool, calm and collected. Oh, how good was that? And that's beautiful work and it lands on the chest of Brown Davies. Yeah, so Davies at half back, so well done. We're just uh, waiting for Matthew Stewart just to get off the ground. He'll uh, be able to grab an ice pack and just call his uh, steam. But here's a Bella. Bella goes on the non-preferred. Nice looking kick inside forward 50. Oh, it's been sharked at the back there by Les Pearson, that's a captain's goal, and uh, that makes it now an eight-point margin. It's the first two to Balak here, so the Peckers, 8-4-52, leading the Owls on, that'll be 7-2-44, so yes, eight-point margin. Scoreboard just getting updated at ground level. Yep. And thank you to Vince, who's all over it like a fat kid on a cupcake on the uh, <laughs> Sporter scoreboard. So, captain's goal to Les Pearson, and the, it's just going in swings and roundabouts this game. It's been absolutely magnificent. Huge uh, accuracy from both teams. Back to the middle. Kelly up against Michael Lanny. Neither play got any dominance out of that tap. Comes out towards our broadcast side and is marked on this occasion by Brian Davies. He's had uh, plenty of impact so far. Goes through the hands of Bridget. Not his best effort, although we haven't called him very often. Good work there by Chapman. Goes on the 45 to Abella. He's starting to rack him up with a bit of leather poisoning. Goes out wider and finds a teammate looking for Von Hayt. Von Heymaner, jeez, he's got some strong jukes. Plays on immediately, even though he probably didn't need to. Great attack by Ebby Luck. He cannot take the mark there. Ball comes to ground level. Just needs a lucky bounce. Well roved at ground level. So can they clear angle? I think there's a free upfield. Should relieve the pressure because it did land on the chest there of McElroy. So they get that ball. Goes towards Kelly. Strong mitts. And played a great game so far. Goes over the top. Not his best kick, though. And I'll have a bounty thrown right in front of our broadcast box, Vince Cosmo. Yes, it is. It's uh, umpire's really literally five metres away from where we are here. So up it goes. Taken straight out of the ruck there by Michael Addy. Gets the handball full. Well, the handball's gone backwards. Is that going to be holding the ball? It is. 
on Bryce Chapman. So free kick here will be taken by Lachlan McKay. He's going to be about, about 60 metres out, just on the right forward flank. Goes Ooh. to the hot spot. The kick's going to bounce. Good pick up on the bounce. Has been taken there by Casey. Gets the handball out. Ball bobbling around here. Dangerous spot. He's going to get it back here. So now there's a big snap. It's high. Oh, look, Campbell's under it. Can he take it? He can't. It's gone through for a behind. So opening score is a minor score to the Owls. And that margin is reduced to now seven points. Would have loved to have seen Campbell try and mark that. Marshall does the kick in duties. The co-captain, beautiful kick straight down the guts. The Bella off the ground in danger, unfortunately. So they're off to the races. They could have got it through, but Abella just kicked into Lambert's hands, and he'll get a free kick for kicking in danger. He's got one on the 45. Does he go down the guts? I'd be trying to entice Campbell to come towards the ball. Strong punch at the back there. Ball comes to ground. Balak should clear. Nothing really at home besides Von Heymanak. Very luck. Uh, Every jock just hand passes over the ball. So we've got a streaming through the middle there. Samuel Williams, can he put it through? He's just faded it right. And this is where you needed to really slot that one through, Vince, because that uh, was money for jam. Yeah, there should have been a goal there streaming through. Williams probably could have gone a little bit further, but it yeah. restores that eight-point margin. So we still have not had a double-figure separation between these two teams in good part of two and a half quarters so it's going to go right down to the wire we think here kick comes out it's a good kick well done to Douglas been impressive back there inside defense for the hours so Douglas at uh, west uh, northwestern back flank oh well give a man a wrap that kick's going to end up almost in the basketball stadium so it's gone over over the boundary line and over the fence around the boundary line too that uh, wasn't the best, but it ends up with a Bella. Bella's kick, that looks a lot better. Couldn't quite get it off of Van Hamanak. Right front and centre is O'Brien. O'Brien goes long Jeez. to the teeth of goal. Oh, oh, big fly. Couldn't quite take the mark there, and it's uh, gone through for a minor score. They play on straight away. Ball suddenly out on the half-back flank, but it's going to be picked off here by Chapman. So Chapman swings back around. It's back inside Ford. 50 packs going to fly a couple of punches from behind. It's going to happen here. The quick kick comes out towards Ford 50. It's going to be picked up there by O'Brien. Hands it off. Once again, it's gone into the teeth of goal. And once again, under pressure, they've done well. The Owls defence comes out towards their area jock. He's uh, under pressure now. Coming in for some help there is Cooper. Ball now towards centre wing. Flying high. Couldn't quite take it there. Marshall. But they managed to get out of it. So now the bows in towards 450. Here's Campbell. Oh, gets a shock and bounce. Picked up well there by Shepard. Shepard decides to go into the middle. Races on. Who's going to get there first? It's bounced through. Bit missed everyone right at the back there. McElroy. No, it's O'Brien. O'Brien goes long into the teeth of goal again. It's just touched through. It'll be a minor score there to Balaclava. Douglas just got a hand on that. And it's through for another minor score. So Balaclava. Peppering away. Peppering away at the goals here, but just not making any hate while the sun's shining, and that could come back to bite them. Strong kick out of that uh, full back position on the kick in. You know, one on three, they'll be happy to hold it up, and they've done well, and they do. So it's a free kick in the end, in the back. So play on quickly, go inside forward 50, no mark taken. It's quite congested players, just starting to spend what's left of their petrol tickets, you'd imagine. Strong contest in the middle. Kelly can't take the mark. Ball comes out the back there towards Casey. Can he pick it up? He's off to the races there, recovers. Looking for Campbell inside 50, goes deep out the back. Can the big man take it? Can't take the mark. At ground level there we've got uh, McKay. Still goes in that direction and punch through. So strong punch through by Christopher Marshall, the co-captain. And using all of his wealth of experience, punches it through for a minor score. And that's as close as Angleville looked like kicking one for some time, Vince. They've been through patches like this in the second quarter, and they're going through it again in the third. 
Ball comes out. Good mark here, taken right out in front of us here by Mike Lally. Jeez, he's been impressive in the ruck and around the ground. Just decides to pop it up. Goes about 20 metres. Looking there for Von Hamanak. Couldn't quite take it. Well, Sharks front and centre. Dylan Mayle. Goes towards half forward. Bounce eludes everyone. First one there might be Jacob Chapman. Is he going to get a free kick for a push in the back? Looks like it is. His umpire agrees. So opportunity here for Balak. He decides to go with a handball. Gets it out there towards Michael. Michael's kick is long. It's off to the side. That will end up out of bounds on the full. It's missed everything. And so relieving kick here will be taken for... It might be uh, Adam Cummings at the back there, back pocket. Umpire calls him to play on. Decides to go high down toward the outer side. Oh, coming in from behind. Couldn't quite take it. McKay. Oh, a tackle excellent applied there. I think that might have been by Dalliston. And he'll get the free kick. Half back. Decides to go out wide. Good kick. Looks like it's Kelly out there. Just shy of centre wing. He decides to go short as well. That ball is going to end up over the boundary line. Was it touched? No, it wasn't. So Balak now looking to go forward. Just overcooks the kick there a little. Players back on it. Umpire will come in and ball it up. Just forward to centre here for Balaclava. They have a nine-point lead. We've played 14 minutes here in the third quarter. So the scores have dried up somewhat. This call only three goals registered. Abella goes through the forward 50. Not his best looking kick. A kick out of that contest just to try and relieve some pressure. Could come back with interest. Some great there work there by McElroy. He's got a player on. Finds him. Looks like Chapman. And I think it is Chapman who's done all the damage on the scoreboard thus far with five. And he will line up for his sixth. Yeah, wow. So just a smart footballer. A little bit top-heavy, which you get in the Magoos. At, and he may be at that uh, vintage age, Vince, where he's uh, well inclined using, to put a bit of extra all his experience. John. So Chapman hits the tarmac, lining up for goal number six. And two-thirds of the Ballack score. That's straight through the high diddle. And they build on their lead and extend it out now for the first time into double figures. 9761 to 7446 on the Sportal scoreboard. Halfway through this premiership term. Yeah, 15 points the margin. That's the biggest lead of the day. And the third goal of the quarter, of which he's kicked two each quarter now. And I tell you what, there's not too many arguments about who's going to get the magnificent Archies and the uh, mm. the Dartfish Beanie because uh, it's all one way traffic. He has hit them for six. Tyler Chapman, wow, six out of eight. Well, it should be six out of nine. I don't know if the scoreboard attendance quite up. Six out, yet. sorry, six out of nine. That's right, nine seven. They are. Oh, now he's getting to it. Six out of nine. That's right. Two to Von Hamanak and one to Pearson earlier in this quarter. So umpire come in, ball it up again. So they're slowly working their way again. Can the Owls produce another late quarter surge here? Well, that hand, Aaron handball ends up with McElroy. McElroy's kick towards half forward up. They go. Von Hamanak, two hands at it. Couldn't quite take it. Numbers here. O'Brien couldn't quite get it. Quick kick comes out. Bridger does well. Spins out of a couple. Going to go on the non-preferred. He spotted something over the other side of the ground, but it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Now one-on-two. Well done. Helping out there, McKay. McKay goes inside forward 50. In front with the spoil there, Chapman. Now gets a little bit of backup here. Might have been Dylan Mail there. Gone for a couple of bounces. Now goes on the left into the middle of the ground and Ooh. just misses a bella. Fortunately, Pearson's there. Goes with the handball. McElroy, quick kick inside the 50. Good stop there partially by Ashby. He might have given up. Now it's Mail. Mail's come there. Oh, God, he's gone long. He's gone strong. And he's just missed. Geez, it looked like it went through from here, but obviously we're not close enough to the action. And that really could have uh, put an insurmountable lead almost on the Angervale Owls, who just at the moment just aren't really looking like they're going to kick a goal. 
We saw that surge in the second turn, but to do it once, bit twice shy, I'm not sure, Vince. I'm not sure. Anyway, they'll need to get their skates on pretty quickly to go out to this broadcast side. Strong mark. Looks like Kelly's taken that. He'd be right up there in their best players this afternoon, as he's been all year with 12 out of 17 games. Mary Lux caught out the back of that contest, comes to ground. Good kick there by Marshall. Just looking for a target. Campbell hits the, the contest hard. Strong tackle. Hold the ball. Well done, Lambert. They play on immediately. Stewart's back on the ground after his yellow. Slides across the face of the mark in the goal square. So we talked about a late surge, and Waylon Casey ends up on the end of that. And I'm pretty sure Stewart was going for home, but we won't get in the wrong uh, the way of a, a good story. Waylon Casey, can he get his name in the Sunday Mail? Jeez, he's been put on a crook old angle. Thought he almost took that in the goal square, Vince. So he's kicking from the netball courts. He's out in the netball court and court number 17, and he slotted it through for a much-needed goal, Casey. And here they come again, and the margin's back to nine points on the Sporter scoreboard. We've got 9-8 playing 8-4. Yeah, I think they've missed a point. Yeah, and 17 scoring shots to 12. Just tells me that Balik may have just rude a few opportunities considering they were five straight at one stage, Vince. Yes, so back to 10 points I make it. We'll check that score at three-quarter time. But uh, well done there to Casey. 19 minutes played and he has kicked their first goal in this third term. So up it goes again, once again, big punch from Kelly. Going to end up here with Lambert. Lambert being impressive in the middle of the ground. Comes out towards broadcast side. Oh, he's oh, off oh, on the races oh, oh, oh. here. McElroy burns off there. Jordan Ashby now gets a kick inside Ford 50. Can they make it work? It's gone through the back of everyone. Who's going to be the first one there? Might be Freer. Turns around. Decides to come back. Not looking for anyone in particular. It's going to be cut off and cut off there by Tiller. Oh, Tiller decides to go long. Beautiful Tiller goes goal. strong. Tiller kicks the goal. <laughs> There's a quick reply. So, well done there to Jack Tiller. And uh, as we're in uh, 20 and a half minutes now, and suddenly that's four goals to one so far in this third term. Tell you so, what, if you ever want to play, to play on instincts, that's a prime example of how to do it. Just play on instincts, run through the ball, picked it up, tunnel vision straight through the goals. And a magnificent goal. I thought I had the timer go for three-quarter time. Anyway, back to the middle. And good uh, ruck work there by Akura Kerr, I think, in the middle. Saw him late in the first term, just drift across like a gazelle and just floated with some beautiful mitts. See if we can get some uh, prime time vision out of him as the game progresses. Ball comes to a Bella. Been instrumental in the third term. Goes out wide looking for a runner. We'll need a fortuitous bounce to keep that ball in play. And just gently takes the ball out of play. Probably exactly where Ballack would like it at this phase of the quarter, Vince. And with a handy margin. Good punch out of play. And that one will be thrown. Centre wing. Time on. Third term. Yeah, not long to go. It's been a good quarter here by Balaclava. Kicked, uh, will I make it four goals? Five. There, there is, is the siren. Four, five, two, one, two, that quarter. We'll just check to see if it is four, five or four, four. We'll check to see if that scoreboard gets updated. But we make it a 16-point margin here at three-quarter time. Star of the show has been Tyler Chapman with six goals. And out of the 10 that have been scored by Balaclava, he's been the difference. And they take a 16-point margin into three-quarter time. We'll be back shortly. Can the Owls muscle up one last surge?
Right, final quarter underway here. Up they go. Neither Ruckman able to get a... Neither Ruckman able to get a finger on that one. Comes out. It's been taken there by Casey. And he ends up getting the free kick. So they need a few forays forward. This is the first of them looking there for Kelly. Good punch from behind by he slip. It's going to come through here. Tackled as he's trying to break through Lambert. Ball inside 50 attacking here early. Can't quite break the tackle there. Lachlan McKay, umpire, will come in. Looks like that score is actually 67 to 52. So we have made an adjustment here. Opening minute of the final quarter. So trying to pick it up there. Donaldson decides to go out wide or one on one. Ooh, strong bodies there attacking there. Davies. Now the kick comes inside. 450 looking for Campbell again. He's got two to beat. Punch from behind. Snatched front and centre by Lambert. He's lost it. An opportunity here. Good kick out. He's going to find Jack Tiller on the halfback flank. A good work there by Balak because it was a great start here by Angle Vale. Not his best kick. Players are really starting to run out of petrol ticket. Lands in the lap of Stewart. Stewart goes straight inside 50. Player out the back was Kelly. Dishes off to our entertainer. And I tell you what, he was off to the races again. It was Zachary Cooper that could not slot that one through. So I'll need to get the first goal to imagine here. Vince, if there any chance here, the Angle Vale Owls just faded really badly in that third term when it mattered the most. Well, they got the opening score. Unfortunately for them, it was just a minor score. So, it's only tick over two goals, the margin. Opening couple of minutes here. They've got the ball up to half forward. It's gone over the head of uh, Von Heymanac. Picked up by Stewart. Gee, he's been impressive since he's come back on from his uh, earlier spell. Gets the ball inside forward. 50. Oh, excellent. Mark. Intercept mark taken on the half-back flank there. So relief here. They're under a bit of pressure early. The Balaclava defence. The ball decides to go out towards the wing. Von Heymanac comes in late. Got two hands on it. Couldn't quite take it, but... Uh, now the race is on, ball's out the back. Who's going to be first one there? Looks like it's going to be Douglas. Ball ends up over the boundary line. Half forward now for Balaclava, their first opportunity. So it looks like Douglas might take the ruck here up against Michael Laney. So up it goes. Oh no, it's actually Erijot. Who's to get the ball down? Tackle applied, picked up by Williams. He's tackled immediately, not going anywhere there. A little bit of feeling in this game. It's 14 points in margin. An early goal make it very interesting here for the hours. Up they go again. Jock gets it down again. Oh, the handball out the back ends up with Michael Laddy. He goes with the torque, if you don't mind. Ball inside, 450. Can't quite pick it up there, Marshall. He's got help in the back line there from Freeze. Kick goes out wide. It's going to end up going over the boundary Ooh. line. Not able to be taken Jeez, there by Chapman. He's unrequired there by Stewart. He's actually just ditched him over the picket fence. And he should have actually got another yellow in my book. If you're going to um, push someone over the boundary line through pure frustration after a yellow, he should have actually been sent mm, off. And he has. Yeah. They've just caught up with him. Yeah. And it's good night, Irene. Yeah, I don't think he's coming Matthew back on Stewart. this time. So... Yep, yeah, it got wide in, and eventually, we're not going to put up with that. So we won't be seeing any more of those orange boots, you wouldn't think, today? No. And uh, we just mentioned, two, not two minutes ago, what an impact he'd had since coming back on. He has got, uh, might have caught one a little bit around the chops as well. Just um, feeling a couple of times there, but that, uh, that might be the end of his day. Being replaced by Josh Bridger. But uh, ball comes in towards Michael Lanny. An impressive, the big man. Chips it short. Oh, could be dangerous, but no. Good take there. Robbie Marshall. Ooh, kick goes off the side. 
Now gives the opportunity for the Owls. Oh, dangerous kick across ground. Was looking there for Bridger, but in the way was McElroy. No, you can't play on Benny. You've got to give the ball back. That's been called a mark. He's nearly off to the races. So opportunity here for the Peckers. Just going to pop it up. Dangerous spot. 30 out in front. Van Hemenek at the back. What a mark! Fantastic mark. Take it in the middle of the pack. And the first opportunity for a major for Balaclava in this quarter is going to go to Michael Lanny. Jeez, what a game he's played. Right in the middle of that pack, would have been third deep. Flew high, took the mark, 25 out, directly in front. Now he's got the hard part, he's got to finish. There's the kick. And he could geez it they deserve better than that, but uh, just the minor score. He's left the... off the hook there. Yep. Yeah. So they need to go almost uh, end to end here. They're gonna have to start taking some risks here, Angle Vale. Go straight down the middle. Could come back with some serious interest in a moment. Strong tackle. And I've got the advantage. Oh, he's already gone behind the play. Should have been an advantage play on in my book, but we'll bring it back. And the free kick will be taken by Bridger. So they can't afford to lose any momentum here. And it needs to be one way traffic, you feel. Given the margin is out to 14 points, you're going to have to kick three goals. Almost unanswered to win this one, you'd think, Angle Vale. So eventually, back to where we started. Long kick down the line. Uncontested in. No one ends up going for the mark. So strong work there by Christopher Marshall at ground level to hold the ball up. And we'll have a boundary thrown. Basically centre wing here on the broadcast side. Very lock up against Marshall. We've got Heinrich. The big Clyde's duck. And they hold it up again. So a bit of sting out of the game, Heinrich, the big Clydesdale up against uh, Airy Luck. And umpire crowd calls for holding the ball, nothing given. And it looks like we'll see Andrew Marshall limp to the bench, which is not a good sign considering he's one of their most consistent performers throughout the season. And unbelievably, Stewart returns to the fray. So I've never seen too many... Two yellows in any sport, get not a red, but we'll uh, leave that to the judges on the field. 7.20 tackle there on Lambert, should have been holding the ball. Ball comes out, strong tackle, that one's gone though. Yeah. And take your pick, it's a bit of a chook raffle. And it looks like Brownlee's going to claim the free kick, and he does. Needed to push off his mark, goes inside 50, looking for the big van, the Von, von Hammenach. He's rubbed his nose into the turf there and will have a throw up Vince 40 metres from home for the Ballock side yeah strong tackle there from Adam Cummings and, uh, I think Van, Van Homenak's uh, taking, a, taking a little bit of time, bit of time to get, to get this, up yeah, yeah might be winded might be just trying to burn the clock too which is not a bad thing if you're smart so trainers is coming onto the ground it's uh, 15 points of margin here both teams have just registered a minor score Dangerous proposition here for Angle. They minutes. need to get their skates on. Pretty yeah. clear. It's going to get away from the time more than anything. And they've only kicked one goal since half time, too. The hours, so goals have dried up. Campbell's definitely dried up. Yeah, he had a hot start. Campbell, two goals in the first 14 minutes of the game. Uh, hasn't been able to register one yet. So. It's good to see the big man getting up. He looks a bit groggy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come and have a come, come and have, have a, a bit of a rest. After the sick by Keithy. So just limping there. A little bit might be the uh, the right leg. I don't know if he's groggy or he, he looks sore in the shoulder, he looks sore, yes. a little bit of a bow legged right leg. No, he's definitely got some concussion symptoms there. Still for the big man, he's dominated uh, the airways this afternoon, Peter von Heymanach, and uh, he'll go off to the sideline. He's going to wait for him to go. We're not sure if there is time on here in the Magoos. 
maybe like the Adelaide Footy League where they have the 23 flat yeah. just to uh, allow for any time on during the quarter. So he's in a bit of a, a spot of bother here. And hopefully he gets that no, he uh, medical guidance. Yeah, he's not come, no, Ben and Bell has come straight back on. He's not coming back no. on. They're not taking him off through the gate. So Played a great game. Yep, well done to Peter Von Heymanac. The ball is 40 out from their go. Goal. Up they go. Michael Annie gets it down. Stewart's tackled. Good, strong tackle applied there by Chapman. So we'll ball it up once again. Transversed about five metres closer. Probably Eric got, got best hands on that. Again, ball not coming out. This is a crucial period of the game here. They can get a goal out of this four, eh? Might be a bridge too far. Oh, that's beautiful tap down. There's that man again, Tyler Chapman, but his kick didn't quite make the distance. And it's uh, repelled by Donaldson. Gets the ball out towards the back. Half boy, oh, he's tackled there. Jacob McKay, he is gone. Fended off the first. There's no way he was getting out of that second tackle. So Ballack pressing here, looking for the killer blow. Comes out, Chapman again is going to come off hands. We're at about 25 around from the Ballack goal. Jeez, there's a strong fend off that first yeah. one, and then the second tackle was yeah, um, he's instrumental. He's cold, it? that's right. So the Michael Addy here, and a Kerr Kerr. Two hands, Michael Addy taps it down. It's picked up by Tiller. And he loses possession, of course, comes out, but uh, well done there by Big Heinrich. He decides to pop it up. Going to be about 30 out. The big fly oh. there from Michael Eddy. Second big mark of the quarter. And this will be his second opportunity. Missed with the last one, but uh, see if he can make a vent here. About 35 out directly in front. Has been an absolute tower in this last quarter. An opportunity here to, you'd have to say, nearly 12 minutes, 12 minutes in here. Almost it's going to be good night if this one goes through. There's the kick. He's gone. I think that's actually worse than the last one. <laughs> Just scrapes in for a behind. So not, put, not putting the score on the board after a couple of towering marks. And margin goes out to 16. So Cummings to do the kick-in duties for the hours. It's now or never. I did hear a song. It's now or never. And it is that the case for the hours. Kick inside 50. Good kick in the end by McElroy. The umpire's found a free kick. And I think the boot just came off of Les Pearson, who will line up for a captain sealer. You have to say. I'm not sure if this is going to be part of his 30 seconds. I watched the highlights of the mark of the century from Sean Smith last night, and the, uh, the I think the guy who had the shot on goal took about two minutes to kick it to Sean Smith. <laughs> and uh, back to the action here, and Les Pearson. A good to... segue for that later in the day too. <laughs> so Les Pearson, can he nail it? Captain's goal. Fat lady starting to warm up. And he's missed again straight through the middle of the points, Vince. Oh, look out, look out. We've got the only, wobbles, the pickers. You can only say. We've, we've left seen, the gate open. We've uh, seen a bang, bang late in the second quarter. We get a, might get a bang, bang, bang here. You could have a triple Campbell down there if we uh, don't look lie. out. Short kick comes out. Marshall's got it. Let's move. Let's go. He's got Air Jock out here. It's gone through. Was it touched? Was it touched? No, it wasn't. So, didn't you fail to get a finger on that one, Air Jock? So, it's a lost opportunity again. So, the quick kick in from Chapman. Lands about 45 out. Shark front and centre by Davies. Gets the handball off. He's going to end up here with Eric Jock. He's going to be tackled. Oh, no, that's it. That's a throw play on Abella. Abella goes long. Abella goes strong. 
Two hands up, or who's there? It's got to be him again. It just had to be him. It had to be. And this is just an unbelievable performance from Tyler Chapman. Seven goals. And I'd say that is it. Yes, that is all over. Bar the shouting now. And uh, he's put some icing on that cake for a premiership. And as we see on the far side, Pell for Peckles for premiers. And Tyler Chapman take a bow on a magnificent seven goal feast. Best on ground performance. And that should see them get home on the sport of scoreboard. We're 15 minutes down, 11 9 to 8 5. And that lead is too far too gone. They're going to have to kick four unanswered goals and have to be really quick. bell has been instrumental in the pivot. Gets a hand pass out in that centre clearance. Some strong tackling there. Umpire just puts the whistle away. Ball at ground level. Should they clear here the hours? And they've turned it over again. So the opportunities they have had, disposal efficiencies let them down. Some strong work there. Excellent work by McElroy. No relation to Rory, of course. And umpire has kept on calling. Play on. So good work here by Justin Michael. He's got a lead on. Goes over the head. He couldn't, could he? Chapman sells some candy. Number eight, no, does the discipline thing. Oh, well, Beautiful nice. work. And it lands on the chest of Jose McFarlane. So McFarlane turns his back on the plate. More interested in burning some clock. But the... Uh, per the perseverance there of uh, Marshall and some smart footy hit the top of the hot spot there. And McFarlane should have no issues with this. Lines up, 20 out straight in front, slots it through, and you can hear an air. Woo! She's all right. Good night, Irene. Put the Manara on the car park, Vince. This one is over. 28 points the margin. I think I had the sport, uh, the uh, buddy bet. You did. Balik you had him at 25. 25. Yeah, They've lovely. got there now. Lovely jubbly. Didn't ever look like that because it was uh, such a seesawing affair early, uh, for the, particularly the first two and a half quarters, until Balik really controlled the game on their terms. So, two goals in a couple of minutes there. And that margin is now a bridge too far. Freer gets his kick. It's high. Two on one. More done by Kelly. Front and centre. Snaps it. Oh, Campbell's got it. Oh. Campbell's kick goes off the side. He was actually roving. So it's just a minor score. Second behind of the quarter. That's their only two shots. In fact, only one goal four since half time. And in that time, they've conceded six goals. That's been the difference. And the Pickers will be reserves premiers. Good mark taken at centre wing by McElroy. Nicholas McElroy's played a very, very good game. Heinrich makes the lead. Almost intercepted there by McKay. Ooh. Now he applies the tackle and he gets the holding the ball. He's not in any hurry here. 18 minutes played. Almost five goals a margin. Just pops it up. Couldn't quite take it there, Bridget. Comes front and centre. First one there, McFarlane. Bridger goes back in again. Handball this time from McFarlane. Now the kick comes in forward from Mayle. Up towards the 50. Good take on the bounce there by Williams. Gets it inside. But uh, numbers there with the Owls. And the ball's high, wide, and to the centre there by McKay. Ball at ground level. Great work by Kelly. He's got a friend in Lambert. Lambert. Running out of options as the Owls have spent their petrol tickets. Almost lands in the lap there, very jock. Can't take the mark, sits on the ball. And the umpire says, my ball boys. So, Cramp really starting to kick in. We're in the final phase here. 20th minute mark of the final turn. 
And well done to the Balaclava Footy Club. Also celebrated the Ballot Cup during the week, midweek. Uh, very good uh, provincial track and a great day out. Back to the action. Is there one last uh, goal here for Angleball? No, touched on the line. And I think that's good work there by Heaslip at the back. He's a very dour defender and done the dishes in the end on Campbell. So he slipped straight down to Gus. Still trying to peck her away at the goals, the peckers. At ground level there is Mail. Ball comes out. They go out wider towards Abella. He's been terrific in this second half. Just a little left footer, a little lazy one. Ball comes back to him. Now the ball towards at ground level. Almost back into the middle of the Ballack, uh, the, sorry, the Virginia Oval. Stringing through with hand passes to Michael. Go inside 50, goes over the top of Chapman. Can he line up for number eight? It just almost need to fall on his lap, it has. Can he get the hold in the ball? No, he won't. And we're almost down. So 27 points to margin on the Sportal scoreboard. Almost finished here in the Magoose. So they have to think Chapman gets the best on ground honours. And the Archies and the Dartfish beating. A little bit a little bit too warm this afternoon, Vince, for the Dartfish beating. Might have to wait till next winter to pull that one out. Although there is a bit of cold weather. There's a cold front coming in next week from uh, what I hear. Yes, over from the west as the weather does. But uh, if he's not wearing the beanie today, he'll certainly enjoy wearing the Archies. Magnificent day here today at the Virginia Oval. And it's going to see Balaclava. In the reserves, go on to be the Premiers for 2023. I'd have to say it's the best performance of any player I've ever seen in almost 40 years of watching footy in the Guernsey number 49, Vince. Yeah, seven goals. You're not going to do much better than that. Seven out of 12. The opposition's only kicked eight. There's a high kick that's going to go wide. Might end up out on the fall. That is from McElroy. Another player has had a brilliant game. Along with a Bella in the middle. They have got so much drive from those two. So as we count it down, 22nd minute. Good mark taken there by Jacob McKay. He's tried hard, both for uh, him and Lachlan. So I skate towards centre wing. Campbell's up the ground, takes the mark. Centre wing. He's got to find something to kick to. He does. Goes towards centre forward. Looking there for Eric Jock. Good punch from behind by Dylan Mayle. So Casey's got it. Decides to snap around. Which way is that one going to bounce? It's going to bounce through for a minor score. So that's he had to have a crack there, Casey, because yeah. it was an open goal square. Just needed a fortuitous bounce, but unfortunately, didn't go their way, and not much has gone right in the second half for the Angle Vale Owls, unfortunately. It's been one-way traffic, as Ballack have doubled their score, whilst the Owls have only got one goal in the second half, and that's been the telling difference. Midfield domination by Balaclava. So, just happy to burn the clock. Goes back to Heaslip, another one of the legendary Clydesdale and the Magoos for the Ballack, and there it is. Siren sounds in the B-grade grand final of the Adelaide Plains Football League. And as the Balaclava Woodpeckers, the 2023 Premiership team in the B-grade. And they run out winners, 12-10-82 to 8-8-56. And well done, particularly to Tyler Marshall, who was a standout with seven goals. folks 28 points the margin here sorry 26 
20, it was uh, 26 points the margin, I should say. Uh, a couple of late points there, of course, to the Owls, but it wasn't enough. We only managed one goal in the second half, and they were comprehensively beaten in the end by Balaclava, who managed to kick six goals in the second half for a domination. Clearly, we think best on ground goes to Tyler Chapman for his seven, let me say that again, seven goals in the in the uh, well two in the first two in the second two in the third and then one at the 14 minute mark of the last quarter there and really could have gone for an eight but then a beautiful pass off to Hosea McFarlane two minutes later and that was uh, all she wrote and well done to the Woodpeckers we're going to go to a short break while they set up here for the presentations and when we come back we'll have the presentations followed by the big one it is the two worlds roosters versus the Malamar magpies. She'll be on like Donkey Kong. The Anglevale coach maybe just to come up and say a few words.